Assalamu alaikum dear students, welcome to NAVS Home School. I am Farhana Yasmin, assistant teacher of Mauritius. Now I am going to take a class 4 class 4. Our today's topic is unit 10, reading done, our subject is English literature. We will do unit 10 from the buzzword book. Today's lecture number is 8 and homework number is 8 also. Okay dear students, let's look at Unit 10 from your buzzword book. Unit 10 is the story of two brothers. Please look here. The stories from the Arabian Nights are among the world's great treasures. They have existed for thousands of years. So, there are many famous stories. Look at the pictures. Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. Aladdin and the Magic Lamp, Sinbad the Sailor, the Magic Carpet. You have read this kind of stories in the Arabian Nights. So the story we are going to read now is a story like this. So let's look at the next page. This story is actually like a drama. So this is scene 1 of the drama. So where is the scene happening? The scene is set in a village near Baghdad in the days of the great caliph Harun al-Rashid. Two brothers, Abdullah and Ahmed, return home after the harvest festival. So the scene is taking place in a village near Baghdad and the great caliph Harun al-Rashid is the ruler there. And this is the story of two brothers, Abdullah and Ahmed. Where the scene one is starting, Abdullah and Ahmed is returning home after the harvest festival. Abdullah arrives home. His wife Fatima is waiting for him at the door. Fatima. See, these are given in dialogue pattern because this is a drama. So Fatima means the next dialogue is spoken by Fatima and then you can see the name Abdullah where Abdullah is speaking. Okay, let's start. Fatima, you look tired but happy to your husband. Abdullah, yes dear Fatima, even if the harvest is not as good as last year's, we have got enough food for the year. I have one wish however. Fatima, what is it? Abdullah. My brother Ahmed is young and has no one to look after him. He should spend carefully and put aside some money for the future. I would like to take a few sheaves of corn at night from our store and add them to his. He will not accept the sheaves if I offer them to him. But this way he will not know. What do you say? So Abdullah is suggesting that he will give his younger brother some sheaves of corn from his store so that he can save some money for the future. And he wants to do it without telling him because he thinks that if he tells him he will not accept the sheaves that he offers. So he is asking his wife her opinion. Let's look at the next page. Fatima, I agree dear husband, I know how much you love your young brother. Abdullah, well then, I'll take the sheaves to him tonight when he is asleep. So Fatima agrees and Abdullah decides that he will take the sheaves tonight. Three hours later, Abdullah takes the sheaves to his brother's barn. On the other side of the village, Ahmed takes a look at his sheaves. Ahmed. Ahmed is the young brother. How kind my elder brother has always been to me, like a father. He works so hard to look after his wife and children. He will accept no help from me, but I know what I shall do. I must go across in the night with some of my sheaves and add them to his store. Ahmed carries out his plan and takes the sheaves to Abdullah's barn. So Ahmed is thinking on the other side that he will 
transfers some sheaves to his brother's store and he does it. Scene 1 ends here. Let's see what happens in scene 2. Next morning, each brother takes a look at his store and is surprised. Abdullah confused. The number of sheaves is the same as before. How can that be? Did I make a mistake in counting the sheaves? Well, let me take the sheaves to my brother's burg again tonight. On the other side, Ahmed looks at the sheaves in his burg. Ahmed, how is that possible? My sheaves remain the same. Did I not take some to my brother's burg yesterday? Did I walk in a dream and bring the sheaves back home? Well, tonight I shall not be so sleepy. So in scene 2, it is next morning, it takes place in the next morning and the brothers are checking their stores and both find out that the number of sheep in their stores are the same and they are surprised and they are planning to do the same thing again for another night. Okay, let's see what happens in scene 3. An elderly man from a nearby farm comes out for a stroll and sees Abdullah. So in scene 3, there is an old man and he is taking a stall, he is walking and he notices Abdullah. Old man, where is Abdullah going with so many sheaves? Why? He seems to be going into Ahmed's burg. What's going on? I must find out what is happening. So old man, he sees Abdullah going to Ahmed's burg with the sheaves and he is thinking that he will, he will find out what's happening here. Okay, let's go to the next page. Later that night, the old man sees Ahmed taking the sheaves to his brother Abdullah's bar. Old man. Oh, each goes secretly to his brother's house, not to take but to give. The caliph will be happy to hear this. But before I tell the caliph, I must make the brothers meet at night. So the old man has discovered what is happening. So he sees what has been happening and plans to tell the caliph about it. Scene 4. The next morning, the old man goes to Abdullah's house. Old man, what are you doing Abdullah? Why are you looking at your store? Has anyone stolen your grain? Abdullah, no good friend. No one has stolen my grain. But there is a mystery here. I take a few sheaves to my brother's barn every night. But the next morning, the number of sheaves remains the same in my barn. Old man, wait. Let's try to solve this mystery. Go to your brother's barn tomorrow, just before the sun rises. Things will become clearer then. So, the old man goes to Abdullah's house and asks him, what is the matter if his grain is missing, if it's getting stolen. Abdullah says that, no, it's not getting stolen, but the mystery is that his sheaves remain the same. And the old man says that they will try to solve this mystery and they will visit their brother's burg. The neighbor goes to Ahmed's house. Next, the old man goes to Ahmed's house. Old man, what news Ahmed? Burn well stopped? Why are you staring at your store? Have you any sheaves disappeared in the night? Ahmed, my sheaves haven't disappeared good friend. Instead, they have come back. Each night I add some sheaves to my dear brother's store and yet each morning the number stays the same. Old man, well, go tomorrow to your brother's barn just before the sun rises and see what happens. Things will become clearer then. Ahmed, I will do as you say. Thank you, friend. So, the old man visits both the brothers. Later, he visits Ahmed's barn and tells him that if his sheep has disappeared, but Ahmed says that they haven't disappeared, but they actually come back and that's the mystery. He is puzzled. And the old man tells him that he should go to his brother's barn tomorrow as well. 
so he is planning to make the brother's mate okay let's go to the next page here yeah, we have the scene 5 this is the last scene of this drama the old man keeps watch at daybreak the next day the brothers meet each carrying ships abdullah ahmed what is this you are doing ahmed abdullah where are you going with these ships the brothers understand they embrace each other the old man steps out and speaks so the old man's plan succeeds both the brothers are going to each other's barn with the ships and they meet and the mystery becomes clear to them then the old man comes out and he says so now your mystery is solved your ships remain equal in the barn just like your hearts are equal in love so the old man he was hiding there now he comes out and says that their hearts are equal in love just like their ships remain equal in the barn okay dear students this was today's lesson your next homework will be making five fill in the blanks and five true false from this story from unit 10 of your buzzword book the story we just read you will make five fill in the blanks and five true false from this unit by yourself okay dear students please read the story carefully again and do the homework properly and submit it in due time stay safe allah face